What's going, guys? Jaime Rodriguez here at the 2010 SEMA show with a very good friend of mine, Ken Schofeld. He's the owner of Badger Airbrush, and he's set up here with a bunch of stuff, a bunch of airbrushes. We got artists out here hanging out, having a good time. But we're going to talk about this here SEMA show and what's new for Badger Airbrush. How's it going, Ken? It's going good, Jaime. Good to see you again, as always, brother. Absolutely. Uh, why don't we, we talk about uh, what's new with Badger here this year at SEMA? Well, as you know in advance, most of the new stuff we're doing is design improvement, stuff like that. We've come out with a couple new products, not necessarily related to the automotive guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but we've recently come out with Woods and Water Taxidermy Paint, which is off to a great start for the guys who make the fish look real and stuff like that. We'll have to look at it. Um, so we've come out with that. We're doing a lot at uh, developing new paint products and stuff since we started making our own paints a couple of years ago. That gives us a new uh, field of expertise to expand on and, and do new things. So. Yeah, I really like the Spectratex. So if you guys haven't tried the Spectratex paint, that's their new textile paint. It's a very smooth paint. The, the thing I like about that paint is that all their colors perform very similarly. With other brands, every color has their own personality. And I think you've done a great job with that paint uh, from the consistency. Thank you for the great unbiased product plug. We always appreciate that. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, as far as design improvements, um, you've been involved yourself with some of the changes we've made in the guns, uh, primarily focusing on smoother trigger action and stuff. Uh, I don't know how close in uh, the beautiful Crystal can get with the camera. Are we allowed to use her name on camera? Absolutely. All right, all right. She should be on the other side of the camera, but, but someone's got to hold it anyhow. But uh, the rocker lovers have, have an increased curvature, uh, so it's a smoother action. We can't see inside the gun, but the position of the pin to hold the rocker lever in place has been changed so the rocker lever sits up a little higher, and it cannot fall into the gun if you pull back on the on oh, the wow. uh, needle chuck back here. A lot of people got frustrated if they pull back that would fall in. Exactly. It'd be kind of a you know pain in the butt Especially to, for the newbie. to get back out. I mean yeah. yeah once you got paint in there it's kinda hard to do this. Exactly. You know, so so we've improved that uh, as well. We're actually gonna be coming out with a, a new uh, a finishing process uh, on these that uh, is designed for rubbing parts that aren't mating parts. Okay. And it helps reduce any friction that would be between those Got those it. parts. And that's something that's coming. I mean, it's very smooth now with the initial oh, changes. But Definitely. we're continuing to look for new ways to create smoother, uh, better airbrushes. And, and that's just something we're working on. And that's going to be on, on all the Renegades, have the new curvatures on the Rocker Lovers already, the Omni Guns, the Theron Chandler Vegas. Um, and uh, one of the nice things we've got planned is for mural <laughs> painters, we're coming out with a new and larger. This is the uh, this is the velocity supercharger, and basically, if you're not working on anything that isn't at least 10 feet by 30 feet, you have no interest in this airbrush. So. And for those of you who are wondering, no, it is not. But uh, so that's we some of the new stuff. Yeah, that's some of the new stuff that we're doing. Uh, focusing very much on design right now, uh, and going back and seeing if there isn't anything we can do better that. Yeah, we're doing well, but can we improve Absolutely. it? Uh, type stuff. So. The thing I like about Badger is they work really close with the airbrush artists. And they really listen to what they have to say. I think that's key to a successful company. And you've done really well with that. Could you expand on that? Yeah, I mean, we're not airbrush artists. But if we fail to acknowledge the needs of the airbrush artist when we design things, we're not going to do them justice. We're not going to address their needs if we think we can sit in a conference room and say, this is what the artist needs, and then push that on them, as opposed to letting them tell us what they need and trying to incorporate that into our product design. Um, we're going to better serve their needs by doing that. I think I'm proud of that. Something that Badger, as an American manufacturer, I think does a better job than anybody. Um, you know, you're not going to go to some of our competitors and say, I'd like to have this, this, and this on an airbrush, and have them listen with any um, serious effort into hearing your needs and addressing them if they can be addressed in a feasible manufacturing uh, uh, manner. So I, I think Badger really, you know, is very conscientious about putting that effort there. Fantastic. Uh, another thing I was doing with Badger this year is a new Patriot airbrush. If they're used, to, if you guys are used to the anthem, the feel of the anthem, this Patriot isn't it kind of a uh, kick off of the uh, anthem. It, it is. It's in that Pro Production Series family, which is the Crescendos, the Anthem, the Universal Airbrush, uh, single tip and nozzle designs. The Patriot is the gravity feed. 
um, version of that Pro Production Series airbrush. It has a little bit finer needle and nozzle, which is interchangeable with the Anthem and the Universal's needles and nozzles. So now essentially you have in that series a detailed nozzle needle configuration, which is standard on the Patriot, and you have a general purpose needle nozzle, which is standard on the Anthem. And if you want a finer spread of the Anthem, you can put the detailed components in the Anthem. If you want a more general purpose spray out of the Patriot, you can put the, the general purpose uh, not nozzles and needles oh, onto the Patriot. So. so you're going to have to buy a bunch of different, if you have those airbrushes, you're going to have to yeah. buy this and that. You're, you're looking to buy at one and switch yeah, it out. Three tips, three needles. Um, and, I'm sorry, not three tips, three needles. Uh, needle, tip, and spray regulator. Needle, tip, and spray regulator. So essentially you've got two. Uh, component groups that are in interchangeable between those guns. Yeah. To me, that's a highlight of the of Badger Airbrush. A lot of our competitor, of his competitors' uh, uh, tips and needles, you're out 20 bucks a needle, 20 bucks a tip. And if he's, he's saying you can use the tip and needle on all those three guns, uh, you're at a big advantage in terms of out of pocket. I think your average tip and needle, what's about six, seven bucks? Uh, I think the tips run about four or five bucks, the needles run about seven, run about seven bucks. Uh, I've yet to memorize all those prices yeah. after all these years, but yeah, I, there's no doubt it's more cost-effective uh, maintenance program if you're into the Badger product line. Fantastic, great. Now the Patron again, that's more for the model enthusiast, the uh, custom guy? It's, it's for the person who's enjoyed working with the Anthem, but wants a gravity feed variation of it that allows them to work at a lower pressure when they want you to get more control. A lot of those guys are model painters. There are some t-shirt guys that cross over to automotive, and because they like the Anthem, they've also found favor with the Patriot as well, because of the, uh, the comparable um, mechanisms and, and components that are interchangeable within those guns, the trigger field being the same, which is maybe why they chose the Anthem to begin with. Now they can get that same feel in a gravity feed gun. Absolutely. So, yeah. Great. Well, uh, now as far as Cena goes, what have we got going on out here this year? Well, you very well know we've got a lot of talented artists, yourself included. Um, one of Jaime's pieces right here, which initially didn't even bring into the show, um, and told me about it and said it's got to be here. Um, but, uh, you know, Jaime, Jaime's one of the, you know, the perfect, he's the epitome of anyone that says he can't do it with a badger airbrush, only needs to look at one Jaime Rodriguez piece and realize that that's a fallacy. Um, you can most definitely do with a badge or anything you can do with any other brand. And there's a lot of good brands out there. Iwata makes a good product, Bache makes a good product, but Badger makes just as good of a product as all those other brands. There's evidence of it, the results that you see in Jaime's work, the other artists in our booth. The crystal goes around, you can see some of Fred Sicoli's work uh, on the bikes here. We've got work from all kinds of different artists, Frank Reyes, Art Alvarez, uh, Jeff Jackson. Michael Henry, if uh, Crystal gets, if you see some of the helmets roaming around overhead, that's Michael Henry. So, you know, these these artists are definite evidence of Badger being just as capable as any other tool you can Absolutely. put in your hand. You so. know, one thing I like to uh, share with my audience is I was using Badger Prox before I met Ken, and I believe in this Prox, it was my favorite airbrush, was the Vega, and he started making it when we met, but it's not like I met him, I started using it. I started using Vega, and then we met, and it was perfect. So I truly believe in this product. It's not like we met, um, and I, I'm promoting this product. I was using it before we met, and I think that's really cute. Well, but, uh, now, Jaime, you know we pay you millions of dollars to say stuff like that. So, you know, don't try and sugarcoat it. <laughs> now, that's one of the great things that I enjoy about working with Jaime and getting his input, is there's a friendship that goes beyond, you know, how, how we can just help each other, you know, with airbrushes and, and promoting our businesses and stuff. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, to have guys like Time they choose our product and continue to use our product, that's an honor for Badger Airbrush because that's how we can truly show people what the capability of the product is. Fantastic. Well, we're out here. We're having a good time, guys. We've got many more videos coming and interviews coming. So stay tuned. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. You bet.